In this video, I am going to show you how to download and install mods for Minecraft Java version 1.21.9. So, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here, to get mods, just go to your search bar and search up mod blueprint like this. Now enter, and here you'll find models.com and models. So click on this and you'll be sent to the modern form page. This is where you actually download mods themselves. So basically, just go to discover content on the top of the website, then go down to mods. And now you'll have plenty of mods you can choose for Minecraft. Now these support all kinds of Minecraft versions. So if you want to limit yourself to 1.29, just click this and you have all the ones which are updated for this Minecraft version. So that is step one finding the mods. Okay, so now to actually use the mods, I have to show you something, which is this. Fabric, Fabric, Neoforge Quilt, Fabric, Neoforge Quilt, and some of these will say Forge, for example. These are actual softwares that will run the mod in Minecraft. So let me show you what these are. So for example, Fabric. What is Fabric? Well, Fabric, if we go to a new tab and go to the search bar and search up Fabric Minecraft, you will see that we have FabricMCL.net as the website. Just click on this link, and this is the actual installer for Fabric, which will just show up in your Minecraft launcher, and then you'll be able to run this mod, for example. And this mod also supports NeoForge. What is NeoForge? Well, it's the same thing as Fabric, the same idea at least, but it runs different mods, different code. So we have Neo. Forge, for example, and here we have NeoForge, NeoForge.net website. If you click on this, you will have the installer for NeoForge. If we go with Forge, for example, Forge is closer to NeoForge than uh, Fabric. So if I do Forge Minecraft, here you'll find a couple websites. So we have CurseForge and Forge Files. The difference here, this is an app and basically a alternative to modern. And here we have the actual files for Forge. So for example, we have files microforge.net for the actual website. Click on this and you'll find that this one is not updated to 1.20.8, at least at a release scale, but we do have it here at some point. It will show up at some point. It could be soon, but yeah, you'll see it here 1.20.9 at some point. But this is the same idea, this is the installer for it, or you have specific versions of Forge that you can download for this. If your mod doesn't work, you might need to get a specific version of Forge for this Minecraft version. It's a bit more complicated. And lastly, we have Quilt, which is pretty much the same thing as Fabric, so this is why some mods will just show both files basically on the same mod file. So if you have Quilt Minecraft, here you'll find quiltmc.org, quiltmc, and you just do install here, and do client, and you just simply go ahead and get yourself a jar or .exe file for it. So that is the main idea. So let's say that we go back to modern, and we want a mod. So I'm looked down, and you're like, oh, I want this mod, Xavier's minimap, a minimap for Minecraft. So what you want to do is just click the mod's name, then what you want to do now is simply go to versions and then as you can see we have fabric and quilt together again this is what I meant about them being similar but if we do game versions and do 1.29 you'll find that we have our versions for this we have neoforge and fabric and quilt so let's say that we want to use fabric it is quite popular well what you do is simply go ahead and find the one with fabric with your version and just do the green download button and then you're not done because Fabric usually has like a lot of dependencies. So one being Fabric API. So if you want to check for dependencies, just click on the mods name and this will show up with this. So this is the mods version page and you'll find dependencies here. We have two, one required. So the only one we really need to take is Fabric API. So you need to click on Fabric API, the dependency. And then you have to go to versions, it is basically another mod. You do game versions and 1.29, and then you have release 1.29 fabric and you just do the green download button. 
and there you go. Here you downloaded one fabric mod from ModWiff, including its dependency. One more thing really quick is that for NeoForge and Forge and this.jar file, if you can't run the installer, it's because you don't have Java for Windows. Just go to a new tab and search up JDK25. This is only for those three ones here. So just go on this website here. It is Java Downloads Overcall.com. I will have this in the description as well as in the tutorial. So just click this, then do accept all and scroll down. You'll find JDK25 Windows x64 installer right here with its link right here. So click this link to download and install Java 25 and then you'll be able to run QuiltMC, this file specifically, Forge and NeoForge. So that is one specific thing. But as we have a Fabric mod downloaded, well, we need to use Fabric. So this is Fabric. To download Fabric, you want to do the blue download button and then you want to click on the blue download for Windows button. And there you go. This is all what you need from your web browser. You need to have your installer and your dependencies and mods. Some mods don't have a dependency, by the way. Okay, so once you have this, you can minimize or close your web browser. I'll just close mine. And from there, you can go to your files explorer to access your downloads folder. Here, the first thing we need to do is double click the fabric installer to run fabric in our Minecraft instance. So let's just open that up and you'll find fabric here. Put the Minecraft version, make sure it is selected for the right version and just do install, OK and close. It is very fast. Now just go to your Minecraft launcher and with your Minecraft launcher you'll be able to check that you do have fabric or any other mod softwares like so we have fabric and to add a mod what you want to do is go to installations here on the top then you want to go to fabric loader and go to the folder icon and this is just a generic minecraft folder so you have other ways of getting there i'll just show you the easiest way to do it and here you'll find a mods folder if you don't have a mods folder because Basically, Quilt has it if you use the EXE, but we have NeoForge and Forge does not automatically create you this. So make sure to just create a new folder called mods if it doesn't show up. Okay? So once you have a mods folder, it has to be written like this in lowercase, by the way. Just double click it, and you should see it should be empty if you did not use it before. But simply go to downloads. Then select your two mods or your mod or your three mods, whatever you chose. Then what you want to do is go to copy. You want to copy the mods. Then go to the top left arrow to go back to your previous folder and click paste. So here we just copy pasted our mods to dot Minecraft mods. That's it. Once you have this, go back to the Minecraft launcher, go to play, make sure you have your mod software selected, in this case fabric here and just do install or just play it depends if you played minecraft before and yeah just go ahead and wait for minecraft to open up okay so once you have minecraft here you want to go to you know a single player world a server or a realm it depends what your mod actually modifies so mine is just a minimap so i'll just go to a single player world and you'll see that we have a minimap on a screen somewhere here on the top left corner you have a mini map right here and there you go now we load it up and you can now see that our fabric mod works so yeah here we added one mod to minecraft so yeah in today's video i showed you how to download and install mods for minecraft java version 1.21.9 so if you like today's video make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one Bye.